So today we're taking a look at my five top tips for expense tracking using Airtable. It's not really difficult. Some of the topics that we're going to cover deal with how to design the database, how to get submissions in, how to use AI to automate about 80% of that. Stick around for tip number four, by the way. And yeah, of course, anything and everything in between. So if you're new here, hi, my name is Alex. And on this channel, we talk about anything and everything, automation, Airtable, you name it, we're doing it. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get stuck in. Tip number one, stop making your databases so complicated. Expense tracking doesn't have to be complicated. Well, of course, if you have a complicated process of tracking them, that's one thing. But generally speaking, you don't have to have a complicated database design to succeed. Let me show you what I mean. So generally speaking, what you really need is a table for the expense claims themselves. I imagine that multiple people are probably submitting them to you some way. And of course, the other table that you'll need in your Airtable database is just a list of these people, just like I have done right here. Now, you can argue that you probably need more tables, for instance, one table to store all of your different categories of expenses, maybe some other table to store your payment methods and so forth. So you might also have a list of purchase orders of POs where you need to issue them in order for your staff members to then order against those POs. If you know what I'm talking about, you probably know what I'm talking about. If you don't, never mind. Basically, keep it simple. You don't need to overcomplicate things in terms of the database design. Tip number two and tip number three deal with how you gather information from your employees or people who are submitting expenses to you. And I think I'll break this, I'll break this down into two levels, like a simple beginner way to do this and a more advanced way to do this. So tip number two is the simple way of collecting expenses. And that way is to use a form, something like the one that I've built out right here using fillout.com. Check them out. Beautiful form builder. Chef's kiss. Such a good piece of kit, especially for the amount of things that you get for free. So yeah, something like this will work perfectly. As you can see, I've got a very basic form. All I'm collecting here is uh, employee data, the amount paid, the date and so forth. The coolest thing about this is that Billout has got such a nice integration with Airtable that it will even pull data from your tables. Like here, when I ask the person to choose an employee, they can find themselves and choose themselves basically. Honestly, it took me 60 seconds to come up with this form. Okay, so now let me show you how this basically works. Let's just click on share, copy the link, paste it in. Let me just fill this out very quickly with a little bit of dummy data. I'm just gonna choose myself, let's say. That's it. As soon as you submit it, boom, it's now inside of Airtable. Okay, so we saw how to do expense submissions the basic way. Now let's take a look at how to do this the advanced way. Now, it's basically a quality of life improvement, and that is to use a portal where people can log in. Like you can see here, I am Bob. I've just logged in into my no loco portal and I can do exactly the same thing, but I can also see my expenses and I can track their progress. Of course, I haven't really, really fully set this up, but you can basically see how things are progressing if you're an employee and you have loads of expenses and it's just cutting down on that email back and forth, that friction that happens basically when you claim expenses and you're wondering what's happening. So this is a quality of life improvement. And again, you're not missing out on anything when I upload a new expense, let's say from my homepage, like so. All the fields that exist inside of my basic submission are there. There is an added benefit that you don't have to fill out who this is. Like you don't have to say, oh, I am Bob because the system already knows that you are Bob Smith. So let's say 
I submit an expense. Save. As soon as you do that, we will immediately see this in Airtable. There we go. And of course, you can also track the progress of that expense as you go along. Now, here we are at tip number four, and that is to use a little bit of AI to literally not have to fill in anything from that receipt. You don't have to even look at it because AI can extrapolate all the data and put it in the correct place. Now, let me show you what I mean. So here I have a couple of receipts that we just submitted. Let me just try this again. And I'm just going to start from complete scratch. The receipt is pending. I will upload one receipt and we're going to take a look at what it looks like. And this is basically just for a food order. So let's open this up. You can see that it's just basically a printout from an email. And yeah, there is a food order. There is a total amount, you know basic stuff. Now, all I have to do is just process that receipt. And a few seconds later, the system will populate everything that I need to know to process that receipt inside of Airtable in the right places. So here we go. Supplier, souvlaki lovers, food, expense, the amount, the description, and of course the payment method. What more can you ask for? Let's do another example. So this time it's going to be tad bit different and it's going to be like an invoice that we've paid for Calendly. Let's open it up. Let's see what it looks like. And there you go. Basically, you know, professional monthly, who it was built for, blah, blah, blah. Let's go ahead and process that. And here we go. We have all the data at our fingertips, who the supplier is, what kind of category of expense that is, the amount, a quick description and the payment method. So yeah, AI can definitely boost your productivity. I know personally, a lot of accountants, a lot of uh, bookkeeping teams who spend hours, uh, in fact, maybe days per month, just extrapolating, typing in a lot of this data that could be automated within, you know, a couple of hours worth of automation. So yeah, it makes sense to use a little bit of automation and AI to extrapolate that data and save so much time. Now, last but not least, tip number five. And that is, if you're really going down the rabbit hole of automating your process, might as well, you know, do the final step. And that is to actually pay people automatically without, you know, like going into your banking processing. You can do that all through WISE. And one of my favorite ways of doing that is to use WISE by makemarket.io. Basically, they've created a very straightforward way to connect WISE to make.com, my favorite automation platform. I'm not sure if there is something similar for Zapier. Maybe there is, maybe there, is, there isn't. I'm not super sure. But ultimately, using this plugin, you can create transfers, as you can see, and like you can really incorporate WISE into your workflow. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this particular list of top tips for expense tracking. Let me know down in the comments below if you need me to do like a little deep dive into any one of these points. I'll be obliged to do so. But yeah, for the moment, thank you so much and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.